Yeah. 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 Yeah
Um, within Q1, let me give you a quick breakdown of these cards before we get into it in more detail. Within Q1, January, February, March, I do see you hitting the jackpot with opportunity here. Uh, a lot of harmonious opportunities coming to you, Pisces, within the first quarter of the year. Uh, January, February, and March, I do see. Um, there may be, this may have to do with um, some change here within how you make money, uh, some change within your career some change within practical thinking. This may seem like something that you never thought you could do, but you are doing and it's very fulfilling for you. Q2, I see the Ace of Pentacles. I think this harmony and how and this fulfillment is allowing you to take action in a practical way or you to create the opportunity in order for you to set the foundation for yourself, to give yourself some stability and structure uh, to curate some money for yourself. Um, there are some thought forms that you may need to let go and separate from with the Seven of Swords at the bottom. Um, there may be some outcomes or ideas that you thought you would be moving forward that you're not moving forward to um, that may need to let go. So you may need to let go of some old ideas based upon this uh, harmonious opportunity that you see and moving forward with your own sense of status here. Uh, Q3, July, August, September, I do see the Eight of Swords. You may be overthinking a lot of this stuff. And I feel like this is uh, if you don't understand or understand how to overcome or separate from these these ideas that may be holding you back these mental forms that may be holding you back i feel like it can lead to a period of overthinking um but regardless Jan, uh, july august and september i do see a period of analyzation here um i do see it a period of thinking and this could do, be due to some emotional discomfort here emotional change um this could have to do with a separation of a relationship here um pisces uh, the Six of Cups in the beginning of the year as well could be the union of a relationship, which is what's bringing this practical change. Um, during the fall season, July, August, and September, I do see you may having to separate from a relationship or from uh, outdated status that may not serve you and that may have you overthinking a little bit. Um, but there is some emotional discomfort here as well. Going into Q4, I do see the Hermit. I do see you shining your own inner light. Um, withdrawing a little bit of your energy and knowing what serves you and what not serves you. Um, being able to do the diligence for yourself to separate from negative habits, negative ideas, um, negative mind frames, and negative opinions from others. And I do see the Page of Cups, you being previewed to some information. Um, you know, maybe a new relationship comes up, a new opportunity, a new sense of fulfillment. And um, you know, I think that's what you may be analyzing here with this hermit, this uh, hermit energy. You could be receiving an opportunity that may has you, uh, that may have you go within. You could be receiving a relationship. Um, you know, coming into coming into contact with a new person, etc. That has you going within to analyze if this is the right person for you or not. But let's look into these cues a little bit deeper right here as well as we get into this. Q1, January, February, March. Let's clarify this five of cups here. For Pisces. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces. Q1, Pisces, January, February, March. Clarify this five, uh, Six of Cups, sorry. Clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. What's this Six of Cups? Cups at the bottom as well, confirming some change here, emotional change. This can be emotional, this can be a change within a relationship with that six energy here. Have some chariot, and you're looking to move forward towards a success, a successful relationship, um, success within your status here, Pisces. Successful ways of thinking. Shift in mindset, right? January. So we got some cups energy here. Eight of cups. We got the ten of wands for February. And we got the four of cups for March. So this six of cups has something to do in January with this um, eight of cups. Something you've been invested in, spending a lot of time into. Um, I see is bringing you this abundance of opportunity. Something that you've been working on could be a relationship, could be a career that you are very fulfilled in. But something you've been spending a lot of time on is bringing you some harmony in January, February, and March. Possibly some new opportunities here that can secure you and bring you finances 
going into um, April, May, and June, Q2. I do see you've been putting a lot of work in for this thing to be harmonious. Uh, you've been putting a lot of work in uh, to this relationship currently as well, possibly, or this opportunity. You know, you've been not just spending a lot of time here, but also putting in a lot of action behind it. I do see the Four of Cups. So this is opportunity that has something to do with material gain, possibly. Uh, finances, a uh, new career position. For you, Pisces, we're going to pull a underlining story. Um, these cards can play out a little differently as well within your life and circumstance. As we're all individuals, this could play out reverse, backwards, etc. Um, depending if, you know, and where we are in life. So January, I do see the Eight of Cups. You spending a lot of time within an op uh, curate, curating an opportunity, going towards an opportunity, or spending a lot of time within a relationship. That opportunity could be a business opportunity as well, and you're putting a lot of action behind this. You're backing it up because it's, it's harmonious, it's fulfilling, right? And I do see the Four of Cups here. You could be, um, could be an opportunity related to earthly matters, like money, like finances, like career. Um, this is an opportunity to think logically towards the relationship as well. Be more practical. How fulfilling is this relationship? Is it fulfilling? And if it's fulfilling, uh, shall you stick with it? Let's get an underlining story here for Q1, January, February, and March. This relationship could bring you a little bit of change within your status, which could feel a little bit uncomfortable. It could be like a, um, a relationship that you're not so used to for some of you guys, or an opportunity job that you're not so used to. Like always, it's not just a business and career reading or a love and relationship reading, but it is a holistic life reading. Clarify some of this energy. Uh, we have the tension card here. So you could have some, I feel like this is self-tension, personal tension here based upon this uncomfortability. Um, see, like I, I do feel like you... I, feel, I do feel like this relationship or opportunity is fulfilling for you and you, there is some harmony here, Pisces. Um, but I do feel like there is tension based upon this uncomfortability. There is a change here in how you, you know, do things, you know, maybe you're not doing the traditional relationship. Maybe you are not undergoing um, a traditional work opportunity um, and that's causing some tension and confliction for you emotionally here, Pisces, that I'm feeling. Let's see where your attention needs to be, where your focus point is, or should be, or energy that you need to utilize here. Q1 for Pisces, January, February, March. January, February, and March. January, February, March. Take, act, take practical action, take the action that makes sense to you and analyze how and where you're taking action within your life and if it's in harmony with this fulfillment here. Um, I think you should put a little bit less focus on this uncomfortability and this change and understand that if it's making sense for you, then it's okay to take action here. That's the message, Pisces. If it makes sense for you, then take action with it and continue with it moving forward, right? Let's get into Q2. April, May, and June, Pisces. April, May, and June. April, May, June for Pisces, let's see. We have the star card at the bottom of the deck. Be confident. This is my this relationship or circumstance here may be or may feel uh, extremely unique to you. You may have Pisces uh, Aquarius prominent in your chart as well. Pisces, make sure you check out the Aquarius reading. If so, could be some connection there. Show me Pisces. Q two. April, May, and June.
it's April. We have the world. So this thing that you're moving forward with, this, this Ace of Pentacles here, you are the one that curates your status. You are the one that makes the decision um, to kind of uh, st bring that stability to yourself, uh, ground your own energy. Um, and with that, with the Ace of Pentacles here, you have, you have to be sure to let go of certain thought forms that may not serve you here, that is no longer serving you here. We have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is unity within your foundation. Your, mind, uh, your thoughts, feelings, and actions in alignment to move forward and to take action within a new sense of status or a new material or more material gain. And the world is here for you. Um, I do see a prosperous and uh, successful career. Um, I do see you thinking in a more harmonious alignment that's in, you know, it's kind of more in alignment with, you know, what you offer and what you bring to the world here. I think this Ace of Pentacles could have something to do with what you bring to the world. Um, yeah, check the Aquarius reading. You could you could resonate with the Aquarius reading as well. I do see some similar energies here. Um, you may be in connection with Aquarius, have Aquarius prominent within your chart. Um, for some of you guys, but yes, for others, like I said, you are taking action. You're the one to take action. You're the one to create this status. And um, it's not just beneficial for you, but it also is beneficial for the world. The world is here. The world is in your hand. I really do feel like, and you have a lot coming towards you, Pisces, in April, May, and June. So be open to receive. Ace of Pentacles, confirmation. Again, this is you. This is you. I do see some success here. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, you're moving forward, and I do see success. This is material gain. Um, this is, a, this is a, stat, a sense of status that is very, very fulfilling to you. And I do feel like you're going to see a lot of opportunities here. April, May, June. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of expansions. a lot of growth. This could be a little bit of travel with the world card here as well. You know, seeing things from a global worldly perspective. Um, you are the one that sets you. You are the gift for your foundation. So whatever you're doing, um, keep doing it because it is curating a sense of foundation. It is bringing in the money and it is allowing you to create a sense of stability and moving forward here. I think that's going to allow you to propel forward here extremely and bring you this wealth and abundance and fortune, right? I'm going to pull an underlining story card for you, Pisces. Q2, April, May, and June. Show me Pisces in April, May, and June. Q2, show me Pisces, Q2, underlining story. This Ace of Pentacles here. What's this Ace of Pentacles dealing with? relationship here this could have something to do with a relationship this could have something to do with a partnership as well um you know it could be business partnership i'm really feeling business partnership with a lot of the ace here a lot of the pentacles um this thing that you're curating for yourself can put you in a position to be in a very harmonious uh relationship as well stay strong i'm getting strength at the bottom of the deck and um this could be many but this could be a new business partnership here that allows you to propel forward i think it's because of how you set your foundation and what you have to offer here not just for you but for the world is going to allow you for a strong business partnership if it's not a business partnership um you being the gift to your foundation and understanding um that you're moving forward and what you have offered to the world um i do see this is underlining story of a relationship so you may you may be really putting and uh, moving forward and um helping yourself for the betterment of a relationship here for some of you guys. Pisces. Let's see where your attention needs to be. Focus point. Before we move on to Q3. Focus point for Pisces. Attention point and energy that they can utilize. Energy that may need to be utilized. energy that may need to be utilized we have the three of diamonds so this is unity within your foundation um you know your thoughts feelings and actions in alignment in order to create this new sense of status in order to create this new sense of stability here pisces um the three i do feel like it is very important for you to communicate um and get rid of old thought forms that no longer serve this new sense of status and this new sense of well-being um you may need to use your communication skills a little bit as well um you may need to use a little bit of what's in your environment in order to facilitate um, 
this new sense of status and foundation. There may be tools within your environment that you are utilizing as well that are at your disposal that can help you with this Ace of Pentacles energy. So pay attention to your environment, pay attention to your communication, um, pay attention to your, you know, your online business as well, stuff like that. It could be internet related that can help bring you this um, pentacle here. You know, reach a new sense of status, bring you this new sense of finances and income, etc. Let's move on to Q3. Wheel of Fortune card is very nice there, guys. And the World card is very nice. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. A lot of major, a lot of power, a lot of strength, a lot of forward movement, a lot of propel, a lot of propelling movement here. Very confident in what you're achieving here, Pisces. Stay confident, stay strong. Let's get some clarity here for Q3. Clarify this Eight of Swords here. Clarify this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, Pisces. July, August, and September. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Devil energy at the bottom. I do feel like you're coming into a position of power and authority here with this Ace of Pentacles. Don't let your authority and power rule you. Make sure you're ruling over the authority and position and power. Side message for some of you guys, Pisces. We do have the Eight of Cups. We do have the Magician. And we do have the King of Pentacles. July, August, and September here. Q3. Okay, in July, I do see the eight of the eight of uh, the eight of cups here, right? So you are spending a lot of time. This came up again during Q1. So you are spending a lot of time um, in within an opportunity here or within a relationship, a love investment. There's a lot of time, a lot of energy being invested. Um, could be a lot of emotional energy, which is why we have the five of cups here. It could be a lot of emotional energy that we're invested in, um, which is why we're overthinking. This could be some change we're undergoing, which is why we're spending a lot of time being invested with it here. Try to be more so invested to see what opportunity is right for you, which cup that you need to pick um, or choose from or utilize um, instead of kind of this eight of swords over analyzing energy or overthinking. It is always good to think as well. Just know that um, in order to move forward with these thoughts, like you gotta understand that there is some emotional change here. There may be some emotional adjustment, um, which is which could be why you're overthinking here. Um, so try to try to ground your energy, do things that you know can help you out emotionally in a positive manner. That way you can overcome these um, overthinking thought forms here. This does have something to do with maybe a, a lot of investment within a relationship that may have changed or may have, you know, you may have separated from or there may have been separation towards you, um, which can be a little bit of uncomfortability energy within your emotional stance. And I'm, that's why I'm doing. That's why I'm seeing this Eight of Cups. You are the magician here. You have the magician. Here. You have the magician card coming out um, for August. So utilize all your tools as well. You're becoming the alchemist. You have the power to overcome this emotional change, and you do have the power to overcome these over over analyzing thoughts because the magician is in your hand right here, right? You know what goes where, what belongs where, what's right for you, what's not right for you. Right, and I think I think that magician card is letting you know that that's a strength card. You got to utilize that energy to overcome this uh, this worry, possibly, right, and this emotional change. We do have the King of Pentacles here. You're on your throne. Trust in the foundation that you built. I'm getting trust the foundation that you built, Pisces. July, August, September. Trust the foundation that you built and how far you came. You have the power within your hands, and you got to trust that. Have faith. I'm getting in order to move forward and kind of ground some of these thoughts or this a little bit of change that may have went down based upon this emotional discomfort. Maybe there's an opportunity that slipped up. Maybe you had to separate from an opportunity that wasn't right for you, maybe a relationship, etc. And that may lead to some discomfort. But the power is in your hands with the magician. And I know you've been invested a lot in this opportunity or this relationship. And you got to understand that um, you, you, you should assort your power here because at the end of the day, there, there may be some un uncomfortable change, but what you're separating from is allowing you to really step into your power of the magician here and, and go and remain on your throne as the king of pentacles um, to assert your dominance based upon what you built here. I do feel like there has to, there may be some separation um, and conflict based upon what you've built and how much you've invested. And I don't think you're letting that down for anything um, during this time, right? 
Let's pull an uh, underlining story card before we pull a, a focus card. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords. The Sun, Source. So light will be shed on a situation in order for you to develop clarity. And I feel like that light that is shun on a certain situation is what allows is what allow is, is what allowing is what is allowing you to tap into your magician energy and remain on your throne because you know that whatever may happen, I think you understand that it was a truth and it was meant to happen. So it is uncomfortable, but I do feel like you're staying within your element and you're staying within your power. Venus energy at the bottom of the deck as well. So you are loved. This could be a relationship for sure. And it just may have not been in alignment with what you've been building and what you've been investing your time into. Right? Or what you this relationship that you've been investing your time into is it in correspondence with what you've been building. And so there may need to be a little bit of separation here. This could be a partnership, relationship, family member, etc. It doesn't have to be a love, interest, right? So you'll apply it where necessary within your life when the time comes. This is July, August, and September. Focus point and energy that may need to be utilized. Jackpot. Yep, see, you hit a jackpot within an opportunity. This is communication of your emotions. So you're gonna have to communicate your emotions or separate from something that um, no longer serves you emotionally, right? So you gotta communicate how you feel about this situation and that'll help you overcome this disappointment energy or this emotional hurt because you gotta use your voice. There's something here that you spend a lot of time into. If your partner doesn't understand that, then you, you have to understand that it may not be the best relationship for you and it may take you off of, uh, you know, out of what you've been invested in for so long, what you've seen harmony in, what you've seen finances in, you know, this change in status. Um, you can't let certain individuals, places and things habits, etc., to bring you back down um, to where you've, you know, when you've overcame so much. That's my message for you, Pisces. Because you did hit the jackpot here within a love circumstance or an opportunity. And you may need to separate from one relationship in order to go into another, right? Or I think you know you hit a jackpot within a certain opportunity based upon this foundation that you've created for yourself. And that's why you've had to separate in some way, shape or form. So I do see there's emotional discomfort or maybe a little bit of disappointment or sadness here, but I do feel like you you know you did the right, you made the right choice based upon the opportunity that you created for yourself here and what you've been spending a lot of time into. And if you're not paying attention to this, this is this is where your attention needs to go and need to utilize some of this energy because you did seem like you hit the jackpot in some way, shape or form in an opportunity, all right? Or a new love, new love relationship or partnership, etc. Let's get into Q4 and get some clarity with Q4 Pisces. For Pisces, October, November, December. Show me Pisces in October, November, and December. Pisces, October, November, and December. Clarify this hermit energy. Clarify some of this hermit energy spirit. Four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's get into it. Q4. Clarify this hermit. Justice. Justice is being served. The scales are being balanced. What goes around comes around. Um, so this may be a little bit of disappointment. This may be some separation based upon a relationship or partnership or opportunity. Um, this could happen to you, to where the separation and hurt happened to you, Pisces, which is why I'm seeing over a lot of overthinking, a lot of overanalyzing. But the scales are being balanced here, coming into the new year um, of 2025. In October, I do see justice being served. You know, what goes around comes around. The energy you put out will return to you. So remain optimistic. And same goes for the person who may have hurt you within this situation when that time um, comes. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune again. So I think you are moving forward and trusting your path and what you've built here. 
the seven of wands. So you're looking at all the outcomes, death. This is rebirth, Scorpio energy. It could be connection with the Scorpio. This could be in connection with the Scorpio that you may um, separate from, but I do think this is you transforming into a new state of being and walking the path of justice here and moving forward with the wheel of fortune because you understand that you are fortunate with what you've built. There's a lot of opportunity here. The scales are being balanced. Sun is being shown. There was truth here being told, which is why the justice card is here and you're understanding the path that's best for you. So certain paths you have to separate from. You can't walk all paths. And I think you're understanding this with this Herman energy. This is why you're going within, because you're understanding that truth had to be told and justice had to be served. That's allowing you to move forward here. You're overcoming this page of cups. There was an opportunity that came to you or a love matter that came to you that didn't serve you, which is why you're going within, right? Which is why you're going within. We're gonna pull a underlining theme for you with this uh, Herman energy, clear Father Hermit, October, November, and December. You see movement, I do see fortune. Wheel of Fortune coming out twice, guys. There's forward movement here. I think it's progression. There's truth. There's justice. Understand that what you put out always will return to you. It's a part of, it's a universal law here. I think you're putting out the best energy that you can. And you're undercovering a lot of truths this year, 2024. A lot of light and sun is being shined on a lot of circumstances and situations that may have had you over worrying, right, Pisces? This 2024. your year of truth do we have climate this is within so you are going within this is related to that hermit energy you're going within there's a transition here there's a transition period that is here within q4 october november and december um which is why you're going within because you're moving from one point to another you're moving from one position to another position one form of status to another to another status um going from one relationship you know, transition, going within, understanding, you know, what you've been through, what you've learned, and going into another possibly or another opportunity, right? Let's find a vocal point um, awareness card for you guys and where your focus needs to be or what energy you need to utilize coming into Q4. Energy point, focus point, coming into Q4 for Pisces. King. King of Clubs. I really do. I think we did see a King of Wands earlier, right? Uh, I'm almost certain, but... Um, King of Clubs. You're on your throne. You're knowing what action you need to take, right? You're knowing which actions need to be took. And that's why you're going within here. You're focusing on how to take action and what actions need to be took in order for you to continue, you know, what you built, continue moving forward with strength, allowing this justice card to play out, you know, allowing the universe to play their part as well. And this is what's allowing you to transition into a new period of time, into a new year, going into 2025, Pisces. I see a lot of good energy for you, Pisces. As we close out this reading for you, I want to thank you for viewing. As always, my viewers, you are the most important part of this channel. And like I always say, I'm watching from afar and I'm rooting for you. This is very nice for you, Pisces. I see a lot of majors here. A lot of major underlying stories breaking down in your months ahead. 2024 is going to be a good year. This is your year of justice. This is your year of truth. Thank you as always. Like I said, I'm watching from afar and I'm rooting for you. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling. Save the video. Take some notes. I appreciate you. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and ascendant sign to get a holistic picture of what's going on here in your circumstance. Come in 2024. As always, it's MC Triple Three. No more humility. Triple Three, yeah, G. Keep it going. Hold my hand. You know I'm stay flowing. Keep it going, cause you know I'm flowing to the top down. And you know it's MC Stay with the post. Yeah, shitty class, man, gotta forget about that. And we all have a story, so I'm never looking back. Now I remember coming through my first can't nigga band. Lil' baby, you was there too, do you remember that? And then we flowing to the top. Even though I know it's hard and lonely, but you know it never stopped. It was back in the day, me and JJ came to the street.